All right, um, some experiments with staining. This is a piece of wood. It's a scrap from the bookshelf project I just did last week. This is some sort of, you can see the little panels, edge glued panels, all sanded smooth. Yeah, stain ready, it says. Uh, this has got a coat of antique walnut, gloss, um, it is called stain polyure poly shades. It's a stain polyurethane combination. This is the same kind of wood. Another scrap piece that had um, been stained with this semi-transparent special walnut 224 at Lowe's, eight bucks per quart oil paint. Uh, this doesn't work out too well with this particular kind of wood. I much prefer that than that. Now this is just common pine with the special walnut 224. Uh, with common pine this worked a lot better in my opinion. It's uh, I don't know, looks better. It's a little darker, looks more natural. Now, on both of these, all three of these have been also um, sprayed with lacquer. Minwax clear lacquer, aerosol lacquer. I'm gonna go with this one for the bookshelves. Uh, has the lacquer on it, as well as this thing. I don't know, I think I might keep one of the cans of, this thing's twitchy, I see. Keep one of the cans of this kind, because I kind of like the way that it looks on on uh, pine. Anyway, just thought you might find this interesting. Bonus footage. I forgot to mention that I put pre-stained wood conditioner on all the wood that I stained. This is to prep it to um, put a base on it so that it won't blotch. If you don't use preconditioner on pine particularly, it'll get all blotchy and not look natural. This looks pretty good. Um, I use uh, preconditioner on this as well. I pretty much use preconditioner on whatever I stain. Just a little bit of advice there for you. Hope it helps.